Hey, Don here. Um, okay, so I was fiddling around with the phone, was put a different SIM card in to see if it would work, and uh, it was working a minute ago. Now it did this. It didn't do this until I rebooted it and messed around with it and stuff. So I don't know. I, I just don't remember seeing this. Let's see if I can get it on here. But see, here's what's odd about it. See, I can't read that little extra message. So I thought I would do that. It comes back so quick. I think I know something like this has happened before, and I'm pretty sure I can just reboot it. This has got the original SIM card in it, and it's never been activated. Uh, I just use them for f cameras mostly, so I thought I would uh, let's see. No, it'll work that way. Okay. So I'm gonna shut it down. Sometimes when they get hung up, you can just take the battery out, and that may be what I'm gonna have to do. It's not. Yeah, it won't shut. It's not doing the shutdown mode. There it is. But it's behind that deal comes back before you can do it, so. <coughs> oh, hit my finger. Caught my finger between my chair and my desk. So, I don't like doing that, but sometimes it's the only thing I can do when they get hung up. I haven't ever had it get hung up like because of this, because I never tried this before. But I'm gonna try to unlock it, use it on a different carrier. But, uh, that's the whole reason we're filling with it. And, uh, so I'll take the battery out. See, it's still got its. Let's make sure there's no dust on the SIM cord or anything. We were fiddling around with it in the living room there. And uh, when I sit down, I can't really see if I'm in the cam how well I'm in the camera. But, and I can't mess the buttons without the cover on it, so I just have to put it back on. I did it before, but anyway, it's hard to do. This one, I have three of these Alcatel A845Ls. Got them for like $14.88 $14 each, and I just wanted to play with the Android and I'd never had them before and uh, and the cameras the number one thing I wanted was the cameras and I use them all the time actually this one I got from my mom and she said it was too hard to figure out how to use it so she gave it to me <coughs> and I have two more that I use use all three of them sometimes for cameras but I don't need need three so somebody else may be going to use it if we can make it work okay it's back up now yeah let's try not to Try not. I don't guess it matters, but uh, what I did leave the sim. I, I put it in airplane mode so that I don't get the sim not provision message. But I thought since I'm gonna try to unlock it, you can just hit the back button and it will go away. I thought since I'm gonna try to unlock it, I would. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold it si sideways to the camera because that's the only way I can see to put numbers and put anything in it or do anything. <coughs> so. I've found instructions online on you know how to unlock them. There's several different things to consider and ways to do it and all, but um, <clears throat> got this other pair of glasses that are good for. <coughs> got some safety glasses that are a little bit more magnified. I started to put them on, but anyway, I think I can see this better like this. Okay, uh, generic method, and then there's two models, two particular models. Mine's a, a Alcatel 845L1, and so I guess it's in the generic method. And then all other switch on your phone with the uh, unallowed, not allowed SIM card, and enter the, when the message comes up, enter the network key appear in the code. 
We didn't see it asking for a network key. It just said wrong, uh, not wrong network or something doesn't match. I don't remember what it said. I couldn't really read it. I wasn't holding the phone. So I guess I'll try and login it with this uh, SIM card in it. Child abduction, Amber Alert, Lancaster. Locate me for information. That's what this is. So I guess that's something that you get when you have the SIM card activated. Now, what does that say? You are currently receiving emergency alerts. Would you like to continue receiving them? Well, I'm going to say no for now. I don't want to fool with that. Oh, shows you how to get you to the place to turn them on and off. All right. But that's because I've never seen that before, so I guess that happened after I turned on the SIM card. Let me try those other glasses. Maybe I won't have to use the magnifying glass to read the screen. Yeah, I think maybe I can just read it. Presidential. Extreme threats. Severe threats. Amber alerts. Oh. Well, I'll be darn. I didn't know it had that. So I'll leave it alone. That's a good thing. I mean, most of that's good to have, but I'm not going to be using it anyway. So, so it tells you numbers to put in, so the only way you can do that is with the, uh, with the keypad, but you got to get, go to the phone dollar to get that, I guess. So never used it because I never had it activated. I have to hold it up so that I can see it. The number's right. Okay, so it's going to tell me some numbers to put on there. On your phone, without SIM, oh, without SIM card. i got to take the SIM card out. Okay, let's take the SIM card out. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. That you had to have the SIM card out to do that. Oh, turn it off. Okay. Have the SIM card out. <clears throat> oh. And then, yeah, and so if this works right, I should be able to just put that other SIM card in it, and it should work. We'll see. I haven't been awake long enough to think straight, so I get in to wake up. But I've been fiddle reading all this for 30, 40 minutes. I had this saved in case I ever wanted to do it. But, uh, so we'll take out the battery. And take out the SIM card. I just took it out a minute ago and put it right back in, didn't I? Put it somewhere to where I don't think I'm going to bang into it. Yeah, that doesn't no, work. Okay, now no SIM card. Okay, there's only one way this will go in there, so but pay attention to your contacts on your battery when you do that. Now, really need to put it together in order to do anything. Turn it on. <laughs> I can, but it's a pain in the butt. So. This button doesn't stick out as much. And it's kind of slow at booting in my, to me, so I think it didn't work, and then it, do, it has already worked. But the button doesn't stick out as much. It seems a little harder to get a press order just to get it to press on down than the other two. Okay. We'll see what happens. <coughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try this. this. As long as I get the, I got to get the numbers right. I, I think you might be able to break the phone if you get the numbers wrong. If if, it's, if you could see that, I guess you just saw my code. I forgot. I don't know. Probably maybe it'll get changed anyway. Probably will get changed. Okay. Uh, it's not a code. It's a pattern. We get it. Okay. Phone. I don't think you can see it, but I thought, well, a little bit of narrating and whatnot might be interesting here. So, uh, my little, I'll use my handy dandy toy to hold that up. There. My fingers were already getting crampy. I've been working outside and I hurt everywhere anyway. Okay, switch on your phone without SIM card. 
then compose number sign zero 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 star code number sign and then to finish or do do a little bit different one okay <coughs> number sign okay I can see that number sign zero 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 Oh, that's going to come up every five seconds. I'm going to have to turn that stuff off. It didn't ask me. Okay. Zero. That was two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Star. All right. Now, code. How are you going to put code in there? Oh. Okay, there are numbers. Well, how do you make it switch? I've never used this down pad for anything but just... Actually, I never used it because... I don't actually know how to... Keyboard. Okay. That made it all go away. I think I made it all go away. Yeah, I know. Well, I think it, I just made it try to call. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out how to switch it to the. Yeah, I've never even dialed. Maybe once or twice a phone number on a smartphone. I never. My phones were the old ones with real buttons. Went back. The last time I had a phone in service was 2001, I think, and then I got these about a year, six months, a year ago, I guess now. I don't know how to switch over. I don't know how to switch over. There's got to be some sort of thing to switch it. Context favorites call. Log. Yeah, when I, I had internet on my phone in 2000, and you had to switch over and use the, uh, you know, the letter, the ABCs. Next to the letters, it was three or four punches for every letter. It was impossible. So, I, and I don't even—I can't type on a mobile, one of these phones either. So, these these are big. How do you do this? It's probably right there in front of my eyes. Okay, we'll just start doing it again. Oh, I think you just might. One, two, three, four. Code. Dang. That didn't work. I just made it two. Nope. How do you switch? That doesn't do it. That goes to your address book. Oh, there's something up at the top now. No, that was trying to call it. Uh, didn't think about. I didn't. Well, I never tried it before, so I didn't know. Where's the shift key? What a bunch of crap. Call on. Sure, there's something you got to do. It's a one that goes to settings. Dial, okay, speed dial. Send a message. Add contacts. Add two second pause. Add wait. Settings. Call barring. Forwarding voicemail. Fixed dialing number. Service dialing number. Dial pad, touch tones, quick response, vibrate, power, hearing aids, noise cancellation, TT mode, off, speed dial, sooner, manual. I don't know if you can make a delay if it would that would make that respond or hit the center one. Oh, that took me out of it. 
let it stay the way it was. I don't imagine you, if you did hold down, well, you can't just hold down any keys, it just immediately does it. So doing that makes it come and go. I may have to go look this up. Uh, somebody call me and tell me how to do that. Oh, you can't call me because well, I have Google Voice calling. That calls it. Call log, favorite, contacts. There's nothing on here. That's insane. I mean, that should be easy. That makes the dollar go away. What if I hold it? Okay. Nope. I already forgot where I was at. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I bet I can do it that way. I can edit my address book. How can I edit the address book? Right here. Okay set up my profile those that those addresses got put in there by Google okay let's see how can I synchronize your new contact a new account oh. which synchronize your new contact with one of the following accounts which one do you want to use Oh, I just say phone for right now. Okay, oh, this is a pain in the ass. Okay, how am I gonna type in that? Okay, at least now I have letters. This is what I was thinking. Usually when I want to type on the phone, I hook it up to the, with the remote phone, desktop, remote phone top, and uh, and uh, do it with the computer keyboard. Okay. Oh. Okay. And, uh, uh oh, it's, it looks like the phone instead of, so we'll see. Oh, well, now there looks like there's switches in here, so zero, zero, whoop, no, 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 no. Okay, I think I had it all wrong anyway. I made it switch. Oh, okay, there we go. Star. Number sign. Now go back to the numbers. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Star. Okay, so it's star number sign zero, zero, zero. Star. Code. I need code. How do I get to the letters? Next, I'm still in the same shape. Nope, I hit next and it went to the other. Probably lose what I'm doing here. Okay, this is really aggravating. Oh. And it's 
really uncomfortable sitting here in this angle that I got myself in to do this. It's making my back hurt. I'm already sore. So, I'm going to have to uh, stop and rearrange myself here. Thought I could do that easily enough, but I can't. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how. Either way, in the address book or the, I don't know how to uh, make it change and do um, what the letters, type the letters. So I'll have to find that out. Right, I'll be back, perhaps.